Hi, I'm Daniel Brophy, a social media specialist here at Page One Solutions. As you've probably heard by now, Facebook just announced that they are making another huge change to their algorithm. The majority of public content from brands, businesses, and the media will soon be eradicated from the Facebook newsfeed. Many people are calling this the death of organic reach for Facebook business pages. The message came straight from Mark Zuckerberg himself. He posted about this new direction for the company and how they've determined that public content is crowding out posts from friends and family, which is what they believe to be most important for their users. It's hard to say what their motives are. Maybe it's truly a proactive move to better their platform and provide more meaningful experiences to users, or perhaps it's simply an attempt to deflect growing criticisms of Facebook and the potentially harmful nature of social media in general. Either way, a dramatic change was not completely unexpected. In fact, this is a direction that Facebook has been heading in for some time now. Honestly, Facebook and social media are pretty new in the grand scheme of things. The nature of these platforms and how they can and should be utilized by businesses are not set in stone. How will people use Facebook in 10, 20 years time? Nobody really knows, right? Now, I want to share with you three reasons why I think you shouldn't be overly worried about this update. I'll also share five steps that you can take to ensure your business maintains a strong and valuable presence on Facebook. First of all, let's take a step back and think about this. The environment and mediums of marketing and advertising are constantly changing. They always have and they always will. There is an inherent need for adaptability. Brands and businesses that focus on delivering superior products and services, providing excellent customer service, and meeting and exceeding the expectations and desires of their customers will always thrive. Yes, marketing is always changing, but a truly great business can and will transcend those changes. Second of all, Facebook still has a huge user base of highly engaged people that use the platform every day, and it's still growing. Combine that with their massive advertising network and ever-expanding product and service offerings for businesses and marketers, and it's pretty safe to say that Facebook as a marketing channel is not going anywhere anytime soon. Third, if you read Zuckerberg's post closely, you can see that it doesn't spell all doom and gloom. While many brands and businesses indeed will be hurt by these updates, plenty more will continue to grow and thrive. Brands and businesses that do as he says, publish content that encourages meaningful interactions and helps to enrich people's lives, will hopefully still see value in using Facebook as a marketing channel for years to come. With that, here are my five steps you can start doing now to stay relevant and visible on Facebook. Step one, improve the quality of your content. There's no way around this anymore. You can still post some promotional content, but make the interests, needs, and desires of your audience the foundation for your Facebook content strategy. Publish content that provides value. The key word here is shareworthy. What content is most likely going to get shared? Experiment with more visual content and more video, particularly live video. Measure the performance and determine the types and timing of posting that works best for your business. Step two, get your employees active and involved. They should be engaging with your page and posts and helping you create and share content. Employee advocacy is not a new concept, but it's more important now than ever. Also, get friends and family involved. The people closest to you are most likely to care about your business, and particularly if you're a small business or just starting out, they're gonna be your best bet for increasing your reach. Step three, be present. Make sure to respond to all comments and messages quickly and thoughtfully. If you don't have the time to manage your Facebook page, hire someone that does. Treat your Facebook page and other social profiles as actual extensions of your business. Treat every person that interacts with you as a potential customer. Don't ignore reviews, positive or negative. Also, go beyond your own page. Engage with other pages and participate in groups. Strive for authenticity in all of your interactions and remind users that you're a real person ready and willing to help them. Step four, focus on your paid strategy. The impacts this algorithm update will have on paid ads are not very clear. Facebook will likely remain a viable adver advertising channel, but it will become more competitive and more expensive. You need to take the time to learn Facebook's business tools inside and out and become familiar with each ad type and what results they are intended to accomplish. Make sure the Facebook pixel is properly installed on your website and that you're effectively using custom and lookalike audiences to target your campaigns. Spend ample time optimizing your campaigns to ensure that you're getting the best results for the lowest cost. Step five, explore new third-party marketing services and technologies. 
There are countless technologies that can streamline your efforts and then help improve your results on Facebook, both paid and organic. Now is a great time to reevaluate your marketing stack, identify any areas of weakness, and determine what tech solutions could potentially be of use to your business. The last thing I'll say is, don't forget that there are other social media platforms. Take the time to carefully examine your strategies and results on other platforms and see if there are opportunities to expand upon what you're doing elsewhere. Thanks for watching and have a great day.